They're saying it's dangerous because the, the hitting one. is pretty fierce when you're running yeah. that far, right? You're running into right, it. right. So mm-hmm. they're basically lining guys up five yards. Yeah, apart. but somehow it's you know it's supposed to be football, and I played football too. I didn't particularly like it. What yeah. position were you? I, no, I didn't like it. I played tight, tight end on Barstool Sports is bussing with the boys. Donald Trump gave some odd admissions on the sport of football. I could catch the ball good, but I didn't particularly like having some guy that was uh, lifting weights all day long and came from a bad neighborhood. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And he sees me and they were tackling hard. I, you know, and I had a quarterback without much of an arm. Yeah. (laughs) It wasn't like, but uh, this wasn't high quality football, but I, I didn't like it too much. This is remarkable. A man who has been saying things like, So I'm watching the game yesterday. What used to be considered a great tackle, a violent, head-on, head violent, if that was done by Dick Butkus, it'd say he's the greatest player. If that were done by Lawrence Taylor, it was done by Lawrence Taylor and Dick Butkus. And Ray Nitschke, right? Ray Nitschke. Used to see these tackles, and it was incredible to watch, right? Now they tackle. Oh, head-on, head collision. 15 yards. The whole game is all screwed up. You say, wow, what a tackle. Bing, flag. Football's become soft. Football has become soft. The outcome of games have been changed by what used to be phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Now, these are rough guys. These are rough guys. These guys, what they're doing is incredible. Wow, what a beautiful tackle. 15 yards, that's the game is over. You can't kick a field goal anymore. Well, this when he craps on the product of the NFL, puts out proclaiming it is too soft these days. I mean, you see a lot of people watching football games. They they see sort of, you know, these weird flags on the play. And, it, you, know, and I, you know, I'm not accusing anyone of anything, but it almost feels like the refs are in there to keep that game close, uh, to keep that. I, I, like, I don't remember there ever being as many sort of controversial plays in big games that, like even even a journeyman sort of uh, fan like myself can watch and be like, wait a minute, that's bull. Like yeah. there, there, there's something wrong there. Which of course carries over to his son Donald Jr. That woman was out cold. Now she's coming. See, we don't go by these new and very much softer NFL rules. Concussion. Up, up. Got a little thing in the head. Oh, you can't play for the rest of the season. Remarkable stuff, really. Shocking people look up to him. But when not commenting on his inability to play because the game is so rough. Only a loser can buy the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys have been so good so long that, and the expectation level has been so high and will continue to be so high. But if the Dallas Cowboys become just a good team or above average team, the man who owns that team is going to be called a loser. He also shows why he is a failure in business and needed to, in my view, take foreign money to support his properties and, in addition, win the presidency to pump taxpayer funds into them as well. But wait a minute. If the games are so soft, he would let his son play, right? Would you let your son, Baron, play football? Uh, it's very, it's a very tough question. It's a very good question. If he wanted to, yes. Would I steer him that way? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I just don't like the reports that I see coming out having to do with football. I mean, it's a dangerous sport. And I think it's you know, I, I, it's really tough. I thought the equipment would get better, and it has. The helmets have gotten far better, but it hasn't solved the problem. So, you know, I, I hate to say it because I love to watch football. I think the NFL is a great product. But I really think that as far as my son, well, I've heard NFL players saying they wouldn't let their sons play football. So uh, it's not totally unique, but I, I would have a hard time with it. Very, very, very revealing. Trump chided the NFL, writing on Truth Social, I can't believe the NFL is effectively getting rid of the always exciting kick off return such an exciting part of football k o and r capitalized for some reason what are they doing beginning of the end i mean the end of what (laughs) they've never made more money as a business but it's the beginning of the end but to go back to that interview let's revisit the one line that stood out to all of us i could catch the ball good but I didn't particularly like having some guy that was lifting weights all day long 
and came from a bad neighborhood, and he's mad. They were tackling hard, you know. Oh, we know. NJ.com's Todrick Hunt would recap. Technically, Trump did not say anything racist, but the dog whistle is loud and clear. I concur. One user says, it's a lie he played tight, tight end. Writing, he never played football. He went to boarding school at the New York Military Academy when he was 13 years of age. It doesn't have a football team. It only has 20 students per grade. The tale was when he hesitated about what position he played. Former NBA player... For, I believe the Charlotte Hornets, Phoenix Suns, and I think I'm missing a few, uh, Kentucky great Rex Chapman would write on Twitter, he has no concept of team sports, none. So he quit football and played golf. Competition with the scoreboard and rules terrifies him. No wonder he calls everything rigged. Dude got tackled once and bailed. The opposite of this? Were you a position coach, offensive guy? I was a defensive, defensive coordinator. Okay, what'd you run? Yeah, we ran a 4-4. Four -four. Okay. We red guards at the time. I had really uh, good athletes and good linebackers. How are your corners? They were good. Um, that was an age when I was coaching that, you know, it was unusual to see a 2,500 to 3,000 yard passer on the other uh -huh. side, but it was starting to come along. So but, you, they were running the ball a lot. Yeah. In high school, if you pull a guard, it pretty much know where the ball's going. And yes. if you can teach kids to do that. Like student body right, student yeah, yeah. body left, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Everyone is tuning Thank out. you for not allowing the yearbook to close on this chapter of my life. So look, I did 24 years in the military. I was teaching and then I started running for Congress. I'm absolutely convinced and people have told me this nuts because you won that state championship. When I took the job, they said, well, we're kind of struggling. We were 0 27. But I had some other coaches I worked with who were great guys. And we said, this is nonsense. Let's just turn this thing around. Three years later, state champion. Now they're the state powerhouse. You guys went from 0 and 27 to state champs in three years? Yeah. VP picked Tim Walls when it comes to football. It's almost poetic at this point how the Dems who were to righties viewed as, you know, this soft monolith of people. And yet I saw Dave Batista do a recent ad. We can't show it because Kimmel, I believe, blocks his footage being used. And a former football player comes out <clears throat> and explains the X's and O's. Meanwhile, you have Trump doing sound effects for tackles. Boom, ding, 15 yards. Yeah, let me tell you actually why we ran this defense, and here's what we did. And he constructed it and beautifully put it to a T for everyone to take in in the span of like a minute. It's so hypocritical. And the choice could not be more clear. Like, let's not beat around the bush about it. It is quite literally night and day. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.